He's the best high school basketball player in the entire world, and he's Canadian. 18-year-old R.J. Barrett has shot his way to the top of the ball game, breaking records and following in his father's iconic footsteps. From shooting hoops to prom prep, I spent the day with a Duke player who is set to become the new face of Canadian basketball. Just like any young basketball player, I want to be the best to ever play. You come back here, you come back to this place, there's sort of like a training ground for you. Mm -hmm. When you walk in, what do you feel? I feel a lot of love, a lot of support. Just being able to come in, playing with my friends, playing pickup every day, just had a good time, great environment. At what point did it go from playing pickup and having fun mm -hmm. to, wait a second, there's a path here for mm -hmm. me. When I left here and went to the States to go to school, I went to Montverde Academy in Florida. That's when it really started clicking for me that this is a serious thing, that it could be my career. The amount of awards, the amount of records, the amount of things that you are rewriting almost on a daily basis, it boggles the mind for us mere mortals. How does that not play with your mind? I try not to think about <laughs> it too much, yeah. but no, it's definitely cool. It's definitely you know amazing that all the hard work that I put in every day is starting to get recognized around the world, but you know I still have a long way to go. How are you received by your American friends? <laughs> I'm beginning to become more and more one of the guys, but you know, there's, there's definitely nothing like coming back home to Canada. That's, yeah. that's where the real love is, you know, in the States. I feel like they still kind of wish it was an American guy. Yeah. But when I come here, I feel all the love. And definitely going to Duke is one of the steps, yeah. and that's going to help a lot. Just so it's, it's go to Duke, win a championship for Duke? For sure. And what? All-stars, um, Hall of Fame, win NBA championships, all, all those great things. I got in his head. I got in his head. He's like, who's this old, wily Irishman? <laughs> okay, so this is the this is the wall of fame. <laughs> oh, look at this. This one, I really wanted this one. They had this cool little video segment where they come and surprise the athlete with the trophy. So you didn't know? You didn't know you are getting it? And all my friends came out of the hallway and started screaming, so it was, it was definitely a cool award. Ultimately, when you get your first house after your first NBA contract, you're going to yeah. have to have a trophy. Right? Yeah. Like, that's good. It's got to be built in. Oh, yeah. You'll see, you'll see some of that stuff later. A lot of stuff at home. All right, let's go. All right, RJ, so here we are. This is the ones you keep at home. Just, just so many awards here. I've, I spent a little time with your mom, and I spent a little time with your dad. Uh, I know that Steve Nash is your godfather. Your dad's an Olympian. Was there any reticence to get into it, given that you're essentially you know, that was your dad's thing? With it being my dad's thing, I wanted to kind of roll with it and yeah. take it further mm -hmm. than he did. Uh, my goals are always try to be way better than my dad was. Um, <laughs> I want a gold medal, which I don't think he's done, so I have that on him. <laughs> Do you play one-on-one -on -one with him? He's been running for me. He's scared to play me one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I try, I ask him every time we're together, I try to play, and he's always complaining about, you know, his back, he's getting old. He is getting stuff. old, he is. Well, I think, I think your dad just got here, so yeah. well, you gotta go get ready, because mm. prom's coming up, so you gotta go put your suit on, mm. and I'm gonna talk to your dad. All right. Rowan, there's one thing uh, that I learned when I became a dad that I don't think you can appreciate until you become a father or a parent, and that's that when you have a child, you start to find your happiness through their happiness. Did that happen for you? I really didn't want him to feel pressure to, mm -hmm. to, to have to play. I knew that that would come when we really wanted him just to enjoy himself. I think 12 is when he started deciding he didn't want to play other sports. Yeah. And this is when it all came out. I had no clue. Like, he was feeling all these. I want to be in the Hall of Fame, the NBA All-Star. I want to, like, you know, wow. Um, and I wanted to temper him, yeah. right? But then you think about all the lessons you're teaching your children, right? Rowan, he seems uh, itching for a rematch, a one-on-one -on -one <laughs> rematch. I, I, I don't know why you keep avoiding oh, him. Oh, my goodness. There comes a time yeah. in every athlete's life, right, mm -hmm. that, that he, he has to look at his mortality, you know? And he's, he's got to understand physically what he can do and what he can't do. Are you admitting, by virtue of saying this, that you cannot beat your son? No, no, no. there's physical ailments oh, here. Oh, there's physical there's ailments, physical ailments here, right, that every athlete has, right. you know, and, yes. and, I, and I actually have a it's, few of those right now. It's the years of experience of, yeah. of performing at such a yes. high level. Knowing your body. Knowing your body, yeah, because absolutely. you are so in tune. Absolutely. Right, absolutely. I, no, I gotcha. There you go. I gotcha. All right, RJ, so your boys are coming over, you're getting ready for prom. Uh, this is actually the only area where I have any advice to impart. Uh, okay. First of all, you got a great, you got a great suit. I'm really digging the shoes. Okay. You're not okay. wearing socks with them. No, no very no, no, no. well done. My only issue is this little 
rinky dink thing. See, it's actually in here. We yeah. don't want to do that. Right. Put that away. Okay. Never okay. do that. Yes. Th that has a collection. Thank right? you, that Ron. Has a collection Thank you. Here. We can take a look. Let's take a look. There's a few here that I, I was taking a look at a little bit earlier. This one is a little too matchy, so we're not going to go with that. And this one, this it, this could work, but it's too easy, right? Mm. You don't yeah, want sure. that. There's a reason that there's a pocket there, and the mm. reason is for it to have a square. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations on all your success. Thank Tonight's going to be a big night. You got so many more big nights after you, but thank you so much for sharing today with us. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, go get ready. Yes, sir. <laughs> entire family is something special. And if you want more, we have an extended version of this interview on our website, yourmorning.ca, and our YouTube page. Guys, what you think? I feel like Ben, you know, with Steve Nash as his godfather, and then you as his style guru, I feel like he can do no wrong. Right, yeah, I really I really think I brought something to the table there that, that he didn't have before. There was a hole, and uh, and I said, you know, we're going to fill that with knowledge. Well, it was great to see you on the court as well, playing defense against him. Well, I was physically on the court. Yes. I wasn't on the court. No, right, right. <laughs> but it was so cool to see that interaction. You gave him some great style advice, and he's going to Duke, but he's which got, we know yeah. is your school. It's my, I was so proud that he's going to go there. Yeah. I'm just really excited for the future for this guy. I'm yeah. so glad that he brought us on for that. Well,